Hello and welcome back to Balin Craig Estate. My name is Eddie and this is my vlog. Uh, today is November the 12th uh, and something quite special is happening today. So we have to get the silage bales done. We, we're running out of time. Uh, so I've asked for a friend of mine uh, to head up to the farm and he's, he's come quite a way to help me out. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully... He's going to arrive at any moment. Here he comes now in his uh, eyes. Nice blue Land Rover. I quite like that. Eddie! Hey, Frank. Welcome along. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? All right, thank you. Uh, so those who, uh, who don't know Frank, uh, Frank is, uh, he has a similar vlog to mine. Uh, it is posted by Simulation for the Nation. And I'm sure uh, Virtual Fiber at this point will very kindly add a link to the video so you can go and check uh, his videos out as well. Uh, but Frank is here to help me do the silage bales. So he's going to drive the John Deere and do the baling uh, while I do the um, uh, while I do the silage wrapping in the T-Dub. Can I say, Eddie, I love your John Deere. This is beautiful. I know. she's. I got, I got her an absolute steal a couple of years ago. We needed something a bit bigger on the farm. And, no uh, and yeah, she fit the bill. I did have to raise the, uh, the height of the barn door to get her in, though. <laughs> it was the first the first any... change the first change I made to the farm was to, to, to raise the height of the barn door so that we could fit the tractor that. in it I like so. any means necessary oh I absolutely say. where can I I've left my Land Rover in the way where can I park this uh, you can park it out the front of the house I think there's enough space uh, beside mine if you want beautiful there we go Oh, just gonna well, oh, while Frank is doing that, just gonna check on the cows. Uh, cows are okay. I did do them a few hours ago, so they've not made a lot of mess since then. And it's uh, yeah, we'll get this, get this job done. Get these silage bales uh, wrapped, and uh, and then they'll be fermenting, and then and then that will be the silage done for the year. Um, hopefully, we can get these bales sold. And, uh, and with that, we'll buy some hay bales because doing hay bales at this time of year is just, well, you're not going to get much usable hay out of it. It's so, not ideal. Uh, no, not, not ideal. really. It's, it's a little bit wet and a little bit cold. So, uh, yeah, let's jump in the, uh, in the tractors. Beautiful. And we are heading Beautiful. up to field 10, which is uh, the other end of my nice new road. Although my nice new road seems to have grown some grass. So I'm going to have to get some weed killer on it, I think. I will let you lead the way. Um, okay, you might, just, you might need to reverse the give you a little around. bit of room here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can show me the way to go. Well, this go. is a lovely little yard you've got yourself here, Eddie. It is. I, I, thank you. I've uh, yeah, I've had to enlarge it a bit for the same, same sort of reasons, really. Uh, oh, okay. What we had, uh, what we had when I I took it over from my grandfather last year, uh, was the yard. Well, the whole farm has had been set up for uh, doing dairy and cattle, uh, very much like your own farm, in fact. And uh, and when I took it over, uh, it was failing. Um, a lot of the oh, fields had been uh, a lot of the fields had been sold off, and yeah, it's uh, it ne it needed a complete rejuvenation. So. Um, so yeah, that's that's my big long-term plan is to buy back everything we had to sell off. Well, it's looking very smart. You've got a nice little set of buildings there. Mm. Along very well. And we're 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 adding a little bit more of an arable focus uh, to it as well. So we're not completely getting away from the dairy. You know, it is it is still at heart a dairy farm, but uh, we're we're looking to increase the arable on it because help we have. We have a lot of arable machines, so we might as well use them uh, and make some money from, from having them. So, yeah. When we go, it's a bit... Uh, here we go, through the gateway. 
Lovely stuff. There and we are. We are. All right, this is a nice Ooh. little field you got here, Eddie. Yeah, this this field has been uh, left fallow all year. So oh, this correct. is this is the first grass that we've uh, we've got off it. Um, I did a vlog the other day, a couple of days ago, mm -hmm. on this uh, where I where I cut it. Uh, but uh, I, th I thought that cutting and rowing it at the same time was uh, was a little too long for my vlog, so I rowed it. At, yeah, I rowed it off camera. Looking good, given the time of year, we've got quite a nice bit of grass here as well. Yeah, well, that's, that was the thing. It was it, this is this is the only grass field that I haven't already harvested this year, and it's the only grass field that I haven't converted to an arable field for next year. Right, right, uh, and it's mainly because it's it's too hilly. It's We'd, mm. we'd never get a cedar to do every spot on it. No, I had enough trouble okay. getting the cedar to do every spot on our other fields. So, uh, and even then they didn't. So, yeah. Oh, well. Well, I feel like there's no time like the present. So I'm going to jump back in and then, um, yeah, let's see. What's your bet? How many bales am I going to make? Ooh, off a field this size, I reckon we're going to get probably about a dozen, maybe 15 bales. A dozen. I will Which be good. take you up on, I'm going to go 14. Okay. All right. That's so smack we'll... bang in the middle of a dozen stroke 15 bales. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, you know okay. me, I'm, I'm um, a smart man here. I am, uh, I'll, I'm going to bring the uh, silage bales here for fermenting. Uh, okay. Okay. Lovely, that makes sense. Um, no problem at but all. no matter where you start, I should have enough space to. Uh, I'll try and stop them from rolling down the hill as we uh, get going as well. I'll see what yes. I can do. Cool. Excellent. Lovely. Onwards. Onwards. Uh, your headset on. Uh, I am all kitted up, ready to go. Uh, let's just get my. This tractor is very much like my. I have a sixty-eight ten, so the younger brother of this. Ah. This is a lovely little machine. Uh, but you might find that they get swapped over. I might take this one back home with me. <laughs> well, I have. I. I think I'm. Um, I might get uh, something a bit more modern out on a on a demonstration. I'm considering because mm. we have got we have got the uh, we've got one of our fields that still needs planting. It's only being planted with radish, so I'm not overly worried about which time of year I plant it, so long as I get it in before the winter. Um, sure. Yep. But uh, yeah, I was considering seeing uh, trying out a, a wider uh, cedar and maybe a um, uh, maybe a slightly more modern tractor from from our local nice. tractor dealer, which is uh, Bolton's, who basically oh. do everything round here. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. I've got one man, and he's my uh, go-to for the works. Really, I'm gonna. Uh, Actually, stop I need to right cover there. that side on. Lovely. Very nice. How are we looking back there? Yeah, that's come out nicely. I should be yeah, able so. to... Yeah, the thing about this... Um, this wrapper has been on the farm for a very long time. Is it, is it starting and to show its, its age? It's it's very much showing its age, but it's also... It's very picky about how it picks up a bale. Right. You, right. Have, to, you have to position yourself just right. And the trouble is, it's 90 degrees... It's completely perpendicular to uh, the angle that the bales come out of the baler. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you've worked out the knack of it there. You've got it kind of ironed down, it seems. Uh, yeah, lots of practice. So and a, and a little bit of swearing, which of course cannot include in my vlog. So, no. uh... <laughs> I swing the, the baler out on this on a slightly more uh, right angle to how they usually come out. It might help you out a little bit. I'll um, drop you a, a, a little bit more kind of oh, that swing would be, space. That would be excellent. Lovely. Yeah, I don't do bale silage anymore. I do. Uh, I have my um, forage wagon back over on Meadow Grove. So ah. I've, um, it's because I can do it all as a one-man operation now, which works out very nicely. I don't need to um, hire in any help or anything. Well, it's it's one of those things where uh, here we do have a silage clamp. Uh, which I actually use for bale storage. Um, but sense. it's... Uh, well, the trouble with it is uh, that it holds an awful lot of silage and we don't have a local BGA. Yeah, okay. So all the silage I create on the farm, if if I create it in the clamp, 
I have to use on the farm. Whereas this way, with all the grass fields we've got, we just supplement the farm income with selling silage bales. Yeah, absolutely. That kind of works. Uh, and it, yeah. A little bit of extra income at the end of the day. Exactly. You know, I can I I get hold of uh, or I sell sort of three silage bales and I can buy a cow. So it's uh, from there it's it's quite useful. That's the kind of math I like. I find the price of beef extortionate at the moment. Oh yeah, price of beef is extortionate and the price of milk is awful. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to. Uh, as we were talking the other night, I have taken the business approach of rapidly increasing my head to try and make it worthwhile. Yeah. Because uh, I figured that I had about 50 or 60 cattle and it wasn't making it. It wasn't worthwhile, or financially or or otherwise. So um, we are we're we're at 135 now, which oh, wow. is a pretty big a pretty big bump. It is. We're, I think we've, we're, we're not a very big herd. These bales are just rolling off. Because that's the other problem with this silent trapper is it puts them down in such a way as they roll. So, oh, and they're just going everywhere, are they? They're just going everywhere. They're not... Well, I basically, I think we've just blocked our exit. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to go oh, no. through the other farmer's field to get out of the field. Ah, oh, dear. It's that kind of day. Nice sunny day, though. I was going to say, I had a lovely drive over here. It's very seldom that I get over here. Once I got off the ferry, it was a lovely little rollover. Um, very rarely do I get to come over this way, so it's a nice, refreshing little change. Let's put yeah. it that way. Well, we, we do have rain forecast, which is, yeah, one of the chief reasons, uh, other, than, other than to see a friend of mine, uh, one of the chief reasons why I wanted, uh, <laughs> wanted the help on the farm. Because it's, uh, yeah. Grass yeah, I... and rain do not mix. It tends to they... rot really quickly. They Which is do not, no. Not, not a huge problem for making silage bales, wet grass, but uh, yeah, it would definitely reduce uh, the number that we get. Okay. I think I'm going to be out with my count there. That was, what's that, number six? Yeah, we, we got a lot of bales off here. Leaving it for a year is really... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there goes that bale. Oh, the, the gate's doing a great job. It is. <laughs> Kate is doing bale collection at the moment. <laughs> it's working. It is working. Okay, I'm going right, to start I think I've got another one over here. Uh, you are definitely turfing bales out quicker than I can collect them. And right. Well, you know, it's when you've got such a beast like a John Deere strapped in the front, Anything is possible, really, Eddie. Anything is yeah. possible. Well, that's the thing. Uh, the, that John Deere and that baler were two of the first things I bought for the farm. They are... Uh, basically, I did I did have one of my viewers once ask me, why why have I got such a new baler on the farm? And it was basically because uh, I was looking for ways... Uh, looking for ways of making more money on the farm. And, and the silage bales yeah, just made the biggest sense from the off. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know, it's something you're going to use for straw and um, hay and silage, so you're going to get your use out of it, it's going to have some mileage on it, so exactly. go new, get a warranty and make it work, worth it I suppose. And, uh, and yeah, as I said, that, that 7810 was an absolute steal, it really was. In great condition, really smooth as well, I'm, I'm kind of swerving a little bit over the rows just because it's a bit thin, so I'm trying to get an even bale for you, but it's... Uh, oh, that's, it's that's my... That's my uh, uh, windrower. It's a, uh, it's a little sip, and it's uh, it's it's a great dual windrower tedder. Oh, okay. Um, but it's uh, yeah, getting getting good rows with it can be hard sometimes. <laughs> oh, it's just there's a few little spots around here that are a little bit threadbare, really. So it's... yeah. Yeah, it's to be expected if you haven't put any fertilizer on and it's just kind of fallow grass. That's still looking pretty good. Right, well, that is the thing. The grass in this field is a little bit old as well. It kind of needs, it does really uh, need plowing and, and replenishing. Maybe one day, Eddie. 
Oh yeah. Maybe one day. Yeah, <laughs> when I when I actually have a, a cedar that might actually do it. Might actually. What's do... your plans for the winter? What do, once we get all these in, what are you up to? Uh, so most of these, so every all the silage bales on this field will be sold. Okay. Uh, we're going to use them to buy. Uh, so every silage bale here, uh, we should be able to buy at least one hay bale and one straw bale. Uh, oh, cause, okay. Because we need to um, supplement those that we got on the farm over the summer. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, uh, yeah, the the plan for the winter very much is uh, improvements to the farm. So we have a um, an old cattle barn up the right. top end. Uh, uh, across the road a little bit away from the farm. So we're going to try and build a grain store in it. Oh, okay. Because uh, uh, okay. at the moment we, we lose money simply because we have nowhere to store grain. So what we yeah. end up doing every year is harvesting and immediately selling it. And the best time to sell grain is during the winter. So and you just can't uh, hold it. We ju and we just yeah we just can't hold it we can't dry it we can't can't do any of that kind of thing with it because as I said this this classically has been a dairy farm so um, yeah so we're gonna we're gonna build some grain storage facility uh, and we're also gonna make some space to store to winter the combine up there as well lovely lovely uh, and so that then isn't in the yard and that that creates a little bit more space for us as well and yeah. I've got mine. Uh, we had a little bit of a change around. I no longer own or operate out of the big arable yard uh -huh. I used to. The, the, the big yard you last came and saw me on, uh, we don't have that anymore. Um, we kind of work solely out of the uh, cattle yard now, um, oh, wow. but we do still ha we still do have storage space on the small little sheep yard. So somehow I managed to squeeze my old combine in there, um, and it's. You know, we got rid of a bit of arable land as well to help kind of uh, replenish the livestock herd. But we're um, yeah, we are we don't do a lot of our arable work ourselves. We get contractors in to help where possible. So I'm debating to sell in the uh, the combine entirely and having a contractor to look after it all. Oh wow! Well, we've um, um, we're gonna before next harvest season. Uh, we're going to give our, our old uh, TX-34 a complete overhaul. Nice. Um, we've got a guy, we got a guy called, uh, called Matt who's, uh, who's going to be working on it. Oh, um, very good. His, uh, yeah, he, he, he does wonders. He did, um, in fact, he did this T-dub. He, uh, he refurbished his T-dub for me. That does look rather glorious. And, uh, and yeah, oh, and... He, did, he did a fantastic job on this tractor. And I've seen, I've like seen. Would you like to come um, to Meadow Grove? Sorry. Would you like to come to Meadow Grove and help me out a little bit? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. I, 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 you put him up with a board, and he might. I, I can make a good breakfast. I'll uh, get in touch with him. See what he wants <laughs> to do. Uh, but yeah, I've seen, I've seen some of his other work as well, and it's fantastic. Um, oh, so yeah, he's. Uh, I think you might be full. Oh, I've just noticed I am. <laughs> I've seen a long string of uh, of hay behind you, or oh, grass behind you. Um, so yeah, yeah so uh, he's he's working, or he will be working on the on the TX thirty four, and so that Standard. that that will give that combine a whole new lease of life. So you still get plenty more years out of the old combine yet? Oh, absolutely. Excellent. And, uh, and the focus, yeah, as I said, is very much is buying back the rest of the fields that we sold off. Uh, concentrating on the uh, the ones around the farm, this side of the road first. Hmm, okay. Nice. So, yeah. Excellent. Well, there was quite a lot of... There was an old farmer not too far away from me who... Um, who kind of retired and there was a big farm that kind of changed their practices, so... There we go. Missed it again. My pickup was up that time. Frank, you're having a nightmare here. <laughs> um, and the... Oh, I might get that bit. So yeah, we were able to do a little bit of an arrangement with him. Make some trades. Pick up some land. Swap some land. That kind of thing. 
So yeah. I've got all my land kind of back up uh, close around the farm now, rather than being spread out over the, the county, re really. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with how things have developed there. So it's looking quite good, and it means that we now, we've sold our milk contracts and everything, so we're oh, really excellent. changing a, a little bit now, so it's... It's, it'll be a bit different. It'll be good for you to come over and check it out because yeah, I'll um, I'll bit. have to I'll have to pop over and, and help you out a bit. I think. Mm, I think be, uh... You can come over and help me with my silage. I was gonna say I can't come and uh, return the favour. Absolutely. Okay, I will stop this time now. Frank is paying attention. <laughs> there we go. I'm surprised at how nice it is for so late in the year. It's really quite strange. Yeah, we we get days like this at the moment. It's and, and I'm I take full advantage of them when I do. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's you know this the amount of stuff we, we've actually got quite late in the autumn uh, doing some stuff, and mm, uh, nice. and it's and it's one of those things where. I didn't mean to to get this late in the year with so much left to do, and so we've had I've I've had a whole string of vlogs which have come out in sort of covering the last two weeks because we've just been so busy. Yeah, yeah it happens. It does happen. Um, I am very envious of those arable farmers who seem to like get the winter crops drilled and then kind of take. The, the months of November, December off. Yeah. Very envious. Well, hopefully, hopefully I will be done with everything by uh, the middle of November. Well, we're only nice. uh, three, four days away. And the only thing I really have to do, left to do is the radishes. Uh, I've got a bell here if you want to take this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hopefully it's not going to roll away on you. Uh, right, I'll go and grab the one down the other end of the field, and then okay. I can go and yeah, and then I'll grab that one when I'm. I'll position myself unloading this one to immediately oh, grab go. that one. Oh, we're making light work of this. What I got yeah. left? One, two, three, four, five, and a bit rows. Lovely stuff. Oh wow, that was the best pickup. That was that just was smooth. so smooth. I saw that. Has anyone got a drone? You could have picked that up on. <laughs> I've always thought about investing in a drone, but I quite like the whole um, whole thing of just sort of being in the tractor. Yeah, I, my my nephew has one, and he comes out occasionally, and it's it's okay. I don't know how to fly it. I can't use it, and um, evidently neither does he, because he was trying to film me spraying the other day and he crashed it into a tree. So oh no. It, um, <laughs> I don't think it'll be coming back anytime soon. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, this this gate is actually proving to be really useful for collecting these bales. <laughs> Until you forget the bales are there and you shut the gate when we're well, finished. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the other job I got to do. Of course, is once these are well, I'll probably uh, get these restacked a bit later. So that they're much neater. I'll get the uh, get my little massy up here and uh, and get them yeah, restacked. Because although we've got the um, the skid steer on the farm now, the massy is still really useful. Oh, uh, but how do you find the skid steer? I'm intrigued by uh, that idea. It is. I, I. It was suggested to me by one of the uh, the viewers. Okay. And uh, and I, I'm amazed that it never occurred to me. Really inexpensive little vehicle, massively useful round the yard, especially mm. in the cows where where it's really tight. Yeah, and so I'm just able to to manoeuvre around the the yard so much easier. Well, that's handy. Just speeds up the whole feeding up process in the morning, I bet. Yep, and and cleaning up and. Oh, I'm gonna. Speed <laughs> I'm gonna say you're gonna head into a bale if you go that way. There we go. There we are. I've often thought about one. I only have um, 
a front loader on the front of my 6810, and that's all I use. And it's great for what I need, but it's a little bit long, and my yard's quite quite tight in some cases, so there's a lot of three-point turns and cuts, so I might have to think about something a bit smaller, but it's a financial standpoint at the moment. Well, I'd, I'd have said, um, you know, get one on loan, maybe. See how useful it is to you, and uh, and then if you're... When you're a little more mm. flush, you... Um, then you pick one up, maybe. I may well have to have a look-see. Have a play. I do like playing with new toys. <laughs> Don't be old. <laughs> Although I did just buy myself a relatively new grass harrow, so that's me done for the year. So it's about the, the yeah. <laughs> that's the extremes of my purchasing this year. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I said I said I'd like to get a tractor out and, and try it out and demo it and, and maybe you know think about adding a new tractor to the farm next year. But to be perfectly honest, I still need to buy a lot of fields. Yeah. Oh well, we'll get there. And, and, and of course, <laughs> rearranging all these barns and everything is not a cheap thing either. No, no. And it, yeah, it's, it, that becomes more than you ever imagined as well. That's oh, the thing. Absolutely. It, it really creeps up on you. Well, we've been doing, um, we've been going in for planning permission for the last sort of two months. Oh, I see. Oh, Lord, that's never fun. Yeah. They, they very much don't want us. Oh, I can't twist around that way. Uh, they very much don't want us to knock down the barns. Okay. So uh, and the and the sheds. So what we're probably going to have to do is try and keep the existing structures standing, uh, empty out the contents, and try and build it all inside the existing hmm. structure. Okay. Which isn't okay. the end of the world. It just makes it that little bit more difficult to do. That's all. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll work. It will work, I'm sure. Put that down again, and we'll just cut up here. Okay. Excellent. Quite. How many bills have you got? Have you got a count going there? Ah, uh, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and one hiding, fourteen. Uh, this is fifteen. I'm about to wrap. Uh, I think we oh. both underestimated. <laughs> I think we did. That's good news. At that least. is very good news. I'm going to have to check belt prices later. I think to see how much this lot is worth. It'll take it'll take a few days to ferment, and we'll we'll probably yeah. end up selling them uh, early December, I think. Well, if it's anything like over in uh, the UK, there it is. There's a big, big demand, and straw. If you have any straw, it's like holding gold bricks. It's oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely stunning. Yeah, silage silage over winter is like gold dust. And I do, and I have, I have bales to sell here, and I have some bales in, in one of my other fields to sell as well. So we're, uh, yeah, we I should look do very nice. pretty oh. well off this. Uh, just kick that one over here somewhere. That's lovely. And we have, uh, we have sold some bales already this year, and they help, they very much help pay for the skid steer. Excellent. Oh, good. That's nice. Walk into a dealership with a big wad of cash. Yeah. Give me your skid steer. <laughs> yeah, I'm very happy I didn't have to buy it on um, uh, part, um, uh, HP. Yeah, you know, I've got a, I've got myself clear of all of that. We did have a brand new New Holland T7 T7 two ten when we were still kind of focusing on the on the arable aspect, um, and I sold it. I got rid of it. It had. How many hours? I think I had in the region of about 400 hours on the clock, uh, and we sold it uh, just to get rid of the HP, give us a little bit of an injection for some uh, for some extra purchasing for cattle, really. So nice. Well, yeah. I, I'm uh, I do I, I do like the T7. Um, I mean, I got the John Deere, but I'm I'm much more of a, a Ford New Holland man myself normally. Mm. Um, it was a great machine, don't get me wrong, but just too much for what we needed. Yeah. Just too big. Yeah, yeah th that's the thing. That that 7810 is, is 
the most I should ever need on this farm. Uh, oh, well, there's love. I'm going to stop it here. Although I think what I would like, I, I would like to get a um, pair of uh, butterfly mats, a larger mower set up on here. Because mm. uh, yeah. there are, I mean, half the farm will always be grass. I'll always yes. have half the yeah. farm down as grass. And, uh, you know, it just make the whole job of, of mowing it that much quicker. Uh, the trouble is, I'm not sure that the 7810 is powerful enough. I was thinking it might struggle a little bit. There were some surprising hills here. Yeah. It might be on its knees a little bit. I'm sure it could do it, but it might be on its knees. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. Any, anything sort of up the other side there, I think it would really struggle on. So, uh... Alright. Have oh, I got any I'm other bales done. left outside of the field? Uh, I can't see any. Or is that the last one? I think we're good. There doesn't appear to be any in the hedgerows or anything like that. Excellent. So we are looking good. Well, there is there is the story that I uh, uh, <laughs> that I told um, when I was doing the bales in the next field over. Um, we've short uh, we we made sure to shore up all of the hedges on the farm. Okay. Because we once had a bale on the next field over start rolling. Went through the hedge <laughs> and up the high street, which, which was was not the uh, was not the most popular thing that we could have done on the farm. I I am sure it wasn't. No. There we go. You know, it'll get the, get the local villagers talking, if nothing yes. else. Absolutely. All right then. We right. are we are done, sir. We are done. I think that deserves a pint down the pub. Sold. Let's go. Uh, but uh, I'm going to sign off to my viewers at this point, I think. So, uh, oh, oh, I do want to stand in front of the tractor. <laughs> there yes. we go. Or on the tractor. <laughs> uh, so, uh, all that remains is uh, for me to say thank you to Frank uh, from Simulation for the Nation for joining me and helping me out on this. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Uh, please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for the latest videos and live streams from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.